Okay. So what kind of challenges uh, do you face when you, you push for that greener airspace? The kind of challenges is people not being aware of how actually these environmental issues are, how, how impact mm. they have, the impact they have on the environment. Like if, if, if you can look now, we're having frequent increase on weather conditions. Yes, severe weather conditions. Yes, yes. we're experiencing um, unexpected floods, snow, heavy rainfall. This is all due to the environment some some of the problem is the environmental emissions that come from the aircraft so we need to teach our people to understand first that this environmental their environmental footprint within aviation sector yeah yes. and are the people are they listening to you at atns they are listening you're so young and, and stuff <laughs> and some of them i think oh. they are listening and i like agents because it empower us and also give us an opportunity platform to be able to to lead so okay. yeah, they do listen to us. All right, it is Youth Month. Yes. We're wrapping it up. Yeah. As a young scientist, I mean, what kind of advice would you give to young people who want to make an impact either in aviation or in environmental science or in both like you are doing today? I'd like to give this advice to actually each and every young person. We need to start now. We need to start now. Or you can just start small by just reducing, reusing materials are using in being mindful of environment being mindful of natural consumption such as your water usage your electricity consumption in that way you'll be able to come up with solutions better solution when it comes to sustainable development